didn't plan on coming back here, eh? Well, plans do change, no? Are you angry? You're angry. There is this one thing I must do before I can come here. Before? This is not a negotiation, Louise, so choose your next words carefully. Someone who needs me. You know me. Always the good Samaritan. Let me guess. Leon? Yes. Exactly. Leon and that young woman, they are both infected. They need this medicine. It slows the infection. And I know it works. I used it. On myself. So, and why I... does this matter to me? This is your last chance. We do this first, and then the Amber. Oh dear. Anyway, welcome back to Separate Ways, everybody. I think we shall. Let's go, shall we? Um, so, there's a heck of a lot of treasure to grab on this section, but uh, not for a little while. Mm, yeah, so I don't think he's being chivalrous. I think he's being safe. We also have plenty of uh, treasure to sell, I think, in our inventory already as well, which is quite nice. Because we're going to need all of the buffs that we can get our hands on. Yes, the suppressant. Hmm. Definitely the suppressant. Okay, what have we got here? Nothing great. No good goodies. No good goodies. No bad goodies either. Well, to be fair, Ada, we're kind of uh, on our way to being parasite food as well. Uh, we're going to find out exactly what's burning. You're not going to be happy, Lewis. Just saying, buddy. Yes, looks like we have some friends. Unfortunately, they have shields, which is not great. Now, enemies on this uh, chapter have become significantly stronger. As is the style of the time. Thank you. Thank you. Didn't really enjoy that as much as I probably should have. Right. Ooh, careful, fella. Uh oh. You know what? Let's get the SMG out for some action, shall we? Nice. Oh, this is <laughs> gonna get a lot worse. And it ain't gonna get better. Yeah, so. That was completely on me. Should have healed. Trying to be a little bit cheeky. But uh, I don't like using my healing. Try and uh, hoard it as much as I can, which obviously is not the smartest thing. Apart from when it is, of course. Right, you know what? Let's just go into it with the SMG straight off the bat. 
come on. Oof, drain that magazine pretty quick. Yeah, not today, bud. That'll work. Ooh, hello. Not today, friend. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah, these things are strong. And uh, just like in the OG, if they get close to you, it's a one-hit kill. Which is not as much fun as it sounds. Yeah, you do it. You go for it, Lewis. Now, I don't think they can kill Lewis. I could entirely be wrong. Let's be honest, my track record for accurate information is... sketchy. Alright, you finish him off, that's fine. Save me a couple of bullets, at least. Uh, to be fair, Ada, you do kind of need it as well. Let's be honest. Now, if we're not quick here, Lewis will die. But we're never too busy to pick up some goodies. Always remember that. Okay. Now, Ada is immune to the effects of the smoke. I don't know why. Yeah, don't breathe, Lewis. It's fine. Breathe through your gills or something. Oh, dear. Well, somebody didn't want his research to be saved. Yeah, unfortunately, Ada, you don't really have a choice because you need that cure, or at least that suppressant. I know she's like the Chuck Norris of uh, females, but she has her limits. Now, we're grabbing a lot of money here. We've got a decision to make coming up as well on what weapons we want. <sighs> well, you say the devil, you're not entirely wrong. Talking about a man that uh, wants to infect the world with the Ouroboros. Now, there's some treasure down here. Uh, we can either get it from the top or there's a little sneaky bit here that we can get. We can jump down from there as well. But I guess we're here. So, yink. Gold bar large. I do like them large, I'll be honest. I mean, if you're going to have a gold bar, you don't want a small one, do you? I'll probably buy a lot of coffee with that. Okay. Back to square one. Lewis, you really are a bell end. Luckily, Ada's wearing her size 14s today. Them, 
Peter is not happy. So we need red ink. Is the bindery uh, in the bindery? We need a gold bottle in the treasure room and a blue butterfly. Okay. The minerals in the ink, the yeast in the bottle, and the substance in the scales of the butterfly wings. Each of these has special properties we require to make the suppressant. If I extract the ingredients and mix them with the chemicals I have on hand, that should do it. Well, okay. Yeah, thank you. Now, this uh, chapter is definitely a good stretch more challenging than the ones we've come to so far. Let's go to the bindery. But before we do anything too sneaky in the bindery, we need to deal with some baggage. I'm not sure how this chap didn't notice that woman screaming her lungs out as she was gurgling on her own guts, but you know. I guess that's not really any of our business. I do like how much noise the enemies make when you stealth kill them. It kind of um, doesn't really make a lot of sense. Kind of defeats the whole idea of doing a stealth kill, really. But then, when your enemies are dying, you do want a nice, satisfying death animation, I suppose. Yeah, you know, it's like music to your ears. Well, to be fair, um, there's a fox as well, and an armadillo, and a wolf, so, you know, maybe it was a coincidence either. Is that right, my merchant friend? Have you? Well, I've got a few things for you as well, sir. This is true. Now, hmm, shall we keep working over the standard handgun, or should we get the red nine? Now, the red nine obviously does significantly more damage. Problem with it is we'd have to start from scratch. We will upgrade the case before we do anything else. Hmm. You know, I think I am going to go for the red nine. I mean, the shotgun does seem to be like a quality choice as well, but. I think this handgun, especially with what we've got coming up, it's just kind of at the end of its rope, really. Yeah, designed to prioritize durability and reliability over accuracy. I think it's actually quite a powerful weapon. It's just we need something a little bit more. Let's go for the red nine. And we need the stock. Yeah, well, I hope so. I do. I really hope so. So, let's go for the red nine. Now, it's doing some serious damage. Uh, ammo capacity is probably what we want next. Rate of fire could be nice. And now we're poor. <laughs> Yes, you and your craftsmanship. Right. Now let's get the stock equipped. And now we're cooking with gas. We have a handgun that actually does some damage. Which uh, is more important than you'd think. Especially with all the bullshit that we've got coming up. And man, we have some bullshit coming up. Right. So, we need to put these in. Now, this puzzle is always the same. This one needs to go there. 
This one needs to go there. That needs to go there. And that needs to be the fan. Now, if it doesn't work, there are duplicate blocks. So we just give them the old switcheroo. Okay. Now, what are you? You're also a fan. Now, I'm not sure the actual rub behind this. I'm pretty sure that is right as well. Yep. So, I'm guessing. Let's try swapping those two around. No dice. There we go. Yeah, a little bit odd. I'm not 100% sure um, how you know which particular one is supposed to go because you know you've got multiple the same image but yeah it's fine it is Ada it is and we will be getting that first ingredient very very soon you better believe it now there's our treasure which is a blue a velvet blue which eh you know it's nothing too spectacular but every little helped as they say now this is quite an interesting little puzzle here so the door is locked and we need to shoot uh, I have prepared a way to acquire the ink get shooting Julio so you can see the order that we've got to shoot the shields in so shields you say well there's two sets of shields. If you shoot those, nothing happens. But if you shoot these ones, they move. And that makes us a very happy Ada indeed. That is the ink. think I'm gonna give up that easy. Right. How about we continue this discussion another time? And like that she's gone. Yes, well, I don't you will. I don't think Leon's really going to be listening to uh, us, to be honest. He seemed to be pretty dedicated in saving Ashley. 
which yeah i mean to be fair i don't hate ashley in this game in fact i actually quite like ashley this time around the original ashley can go die in a fire and i'd happily watch but you know they've actually improved her massively in this game oh my that doesn't look great And the music here is absolutely fantastic as well. Oh, the music, guys. Right, okay. So, as you can see, this is a very treasure-rich environment. Oh, take the bullets. Always take the bullets. And we're going to need a lot of bullets. Yes, they do, Ada. Yes, they do. Now, if they're low enough, you can just pull the cord, but it's just easier to shoot them, to be honest. Way easier. And this is a nice little ammo depository here, too. Plenty of bullets. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay, Ada. What could possibly go wrong here, huh? It's not like a big mincing machine's going to come out of the wall or something. Ah. I don't know, Ada, but I do question their uh, mentality. Luckily, it's not exactly the fastest machine that um, has ever been designed. Oh. Which is... Oh, no, no, no actually got that one wrong that's not good luckily as I said it's the world's slowest machine it's really not much of a threat at all to be honest but that was in the original game kind of I like the way how uh, there was kind of a few bits missing from the original campaign, but they've been thrown into Ada's separate ways. But separate ways in the original game felt like a very tacked on, just like a quick, easy, shitty mode. Whereas in this game, okay. it's really fleshed out. We do need the second ingredient, Ada. If we don't have that, we're going to have a bad time. But luckily... We've walked this path before, you and I. Vintage compass, not bad. Pretty posh. It does, Ada. It does. And we're about to get that something. Now, unfortunately, this is why I wanted to upgrade our gun. Because these guys, as we know, don't mess around. So how many of these guys do you think we're going to fight? One, two, three, a handful maybe? Are we going to be fighting lots of these? And unfortunately, the standard handgun doesn't cut it. Not really. Whoop. That was as close as it gets, friend. Now, you don't have to knock their hats off to take them out, but it does make them significantly weaker. Whew. Luckily, these guys drop spinels. So, that's going to make us rather happy. Now, don't be a noob. The first time I did this, I left this behind. <laughs> you need it. Now this uh, tool, or this bottle, does get used for a few things. So, definitely don't want to be forgetting it. And there we have the ornate necklace, which is a extremely valuable piece of equipment. All right. Now, here's something that I'm curious about. I can 
me walking around with half-loaded weapons like an idiot. Now, I wonder... How interesting. So, if you don't take that, uh, which you probably might not take that on your first go through, um, to kind of guide you back upstairs, you hear a load of noise upstairs. And obviously you go up there to investigate and there's another armored knight walking around. Which I'm kind of sad that we missed out on. Now, <sighs> yeah, me too, Ada. Now, I'm going to go on record here. This room fucking sucks. It's just a couple of nights, right? Yeah. Yeah, just a couple. All right, golden bottle. Here we go. Yep, with a small room. Well, still not too bad, right? Well, it gets worse. Because once we take these two out... There will be more. Still not bad enough for you? Well, you get enemies standing at the grate shooting you with arrows. Oh, hi. Didn't even see you. Now, I'm not actually going to bother shooting them. Why? I don't hear you ask. Because they just keep coming. So... At least from what I experienced last time, there's no point trying to shoot those guys until we've handled all of these knights. Ow. And if you're wondering if they can stun lock you multiple times, they can. So you can get stun locked by a knight. And. you can get hit by the guys firing bolts at you. Right. Come on. Move. Ow. Let's heal up. Whew. Right. That should kill two of them. That's fine. That should be the overwhelming majority of them done now. Whoop. Yeah, see, I made the decision of trying to do this with the standard handgun. Um, it, it didn't go well. At all. Alright, we're good. We are very good. So now... We should be able to take these two guys out. And I don't think any more are going to spawn. Come on, you bitch. Let's see those eyes. There we go. <sighs> Alright. Now, I'm guessing on the harder difficulties. Um, uh, maybe all of these will come to life? I'm not sure. I came out of that with more ammo as well. Now, before you leave this room, notice that there's a nice, big, fat, juicy treasure chest there. Well, it'd be pretty rude of us to leave that behind. So, we can grab the silver bottle, replace it with the gold bottle. And that is going to give us this fantabulous, elegant chessboard. Don't mind if I do. All right. So... Let's have that back. And put the silver one back in. Now, I wonder what's in there. I bet there's like some proper tasty vintage stuff. 
I mean, shit. I'll try it. Okay. We do need to leave the silver one behind, though. Sadly. All right. One ingredient left. Indeed, Ada. Indeed. Piece of cake. <laughs> Aren't you a darling? Well, we'll take that. Blue medallions in the courtyard. We can handle those. You did. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah. Well, we'll take those. Um, you know, that might be worth it. That's so expensive. Oh, that's so expensive. Thing is, when this weapon um, is needed, it's really needed. But I think we're better off upgrading the standard gear so f to start with. Let's get that upgraded. <laughs> nah, nah, yep. Yeah. Keep telling yourself that, buddy. There we go. That leaves us with a little bit of coin. I don't really want the laser sight because it's just going to take up inventory space. Well, it takes one, to be fair. This is not bad. I guess we can buy some resources. I'll be back when I can pay. Don't you worry your pretty little head about that. Let's create some hangar ammo. There we go. That's a little bit more comfortable. Much better. Much, much better. Whew. Right, cheers, pal. Much larger magazine than that thing now, which always makes me happy. Um, <laughs> it's actually a long chapter, this one. tab view file our experiments are still ongoing but i can already see that this test subject has great potential to summarize our findings so far even in a state of suspended animation it holds influence over the other parasites it seems to possess the same organ as the dominant species and likely has the same level of control we have no method to awaken it. Furthermore, after a deadly accident, we have decided to take extra precaution and seal the amber in a protective case. That is also why I plan to move the amber to a research lab, to the new comms facility. I guess this is where I say adios, Don Quixote. It was Lewis who discovered these things, but Sadler does not trust him. I just hope he keeps his mouth shut. Hmm. Annabelle. Annabelle Garcia, head researcher. All right. Yeah, probably should keep your mouth shut, to be honest. Just saying. Okay, so let's go grab that. Now, there are some fishies in here. So we are going to get some fishies. Got a black bass. And there should be, yep, there's a big boy as well. Come in. Come in. Come on. Here we go. And a large black bass. I think it's just the two. If I remember incorrectly. Very nice. I guess we can go back to our merchant friend now. Ah, yes. Actually, before we go to our merchant friend, I guess we might as well grab the other one as well. So there is the maze, the amazing maze. We're going to stay away from that for now. Uh, 
All right. So, what have we got? A barrel. A red barrel. No problem. We'll hold on to that. Okay. Uh, I guess we could just do this bit next, I suppose. Very tempted to get rid of the blast crossbow. It's it takes up so much space. But whatever. Okay. This is curious. I wonder if it's going to be worth flashing all these crows. Let's see what we get. A little bit. Excuse me, my lad. I need that. No. No, they can't, Ada. Yeah, this guy with his voice of reckoning really does lead us to have a bad time. We want to kill this guy as quick as we can. Because otherwise, this bit really sucks. Now, we actually killed him really quickly. Which I'm reasonably happy about. If you don't kill him there, oh god, you have to chase him around the maze. And you only seem to be able to do like a little bit of damage to him at a time. But we've actually saved ourselves a hell of a lot of trouble there. Right, we've got the butterfly lamp. And right, this could be bad. That's definitely bad. We know who's next. It's Mr. Ugly Dickneck. Trouble with these Dicknecks, as I've said before, they are a one hit kill. And there's three of them. Ooh, hello. Not today. Don't want none of your business today. Whew. Yeah, because if we don't kill these guys, or that uh, red guy quick, He's just going to continuously summon enemies. But I think we're okay, actually. That's easily the best I've ever done at that particular bit. Wow. And another reason why I wanted the most powerful weapons we could get our hands on. Really got to get rid of that guy as fast as we can. I actually thought we were going to be on this bit for a while. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Alright. Hey, and our fire alarm. Yeah, I'll try and edit that out in the future if that happens. So that's been happening um, pretty much like every half hour to every hour for the last three days. Yes, including night time. Still waiting for an engineer to come around, apparently. And yeah, it's, it's as fun as it sounds. Okay. And that was my biggest worry, apart from not being able to sleep. Is it interrupting my recording? Okay, let's start working over these. So there's one net. One net. Uh, I've got a reasonably good idea where the others are, Ada. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. Uh, there's another one over there. Gee, this bit's a lot easier when you can just zip around, huh? It's so much easier. We don't care about your gates and your walls. Come yeah, on. There we go. Come yeah, on. Let's see that big old swingy majig. So all he's going to give us for this is spinals, but they allow us to get some pretty nice things. So we want to try and get as many of those as possible. I think there's like one optional mission on every level for separate ways. That makes sense. 
it's not as crazy as uh, with the main campaign where you had those uh, bonus missions kind of a little bit all over the place. And I haven't done them all yet either. I do need to return to this game um, and get all the unlocks so we can go through on the hardest difficulty with like some nice juicy weapons. The only trouble with that is Bethesda's ruining my life at the moment with Starfield. It's a good way, you know. It's like finding a, a, a drug that you really like, you know. It's a good addiction. It's fun. And I can quit whenever I want. Now. So we've got one more back there. Okay. So. If I was one more... One more little blue medallion. Where would I be? Up and around here, apparently. You better believe it. Really? Oh, I bet it's up there in the middle. That makes sense. It's got to be right at the back. Or is it? Don't be playing with me, game. Right. It's over there, apparently. Ah, there you are. There you are. Really? That will do it indeed. Old merchant's going to be very happy with us. Which is nice. You don't want to go on the bad side of the merchant. Okay. And I think, yep, we've got all the treasure so far. Alright, we're doing well. Mm-hmm. The last ingredient is just around the corner. If we're lucky. We all up to date? We're up to date. Let's go. And there is our yellow herb. Yes, we do, Ada. Yes, we do. And we are, <laughs> we are getting ridiculously close to the limit. Oh, that isn't a three. And that isn't a seven. That's why it never made sense. That just um, correlates to the key it's bound to on the keyboard. I'm an idiot. That's okay. You already knew that. Convinced on Wesker's voice. Leon, changed your mind yet? <gasps> Assuming you haven't, I've got a tip for you. Seems like something big is about to go down in the throne room. Babysitting's tough, huh? I mean, I don't dislike his voice. Not at all, but um, yeah, it's a bit jarring. Definitely be nice to see more Wesker, though. But love, can you just die, please? Really no need to make all of that noise. None of us care. 
about your plight. Alright. So. I need to have a little bit of... Oh, hello. Hello. There we go. Careful now. Ooh, right in the back of the head. Executioner style. Well, I can hear more of them. Just can't see them. Come to mummy. Oh, he's coming. Uh oh. Ooh. Ow. Evaded that way too early. But does mean we get to use our super herb. Okay. Not elegant, but it worked. Alright. So let's go. Ooh, got a boot knife. Very nice. And switch the doors open. And if we drop down here, we should be able to get a treasure. Alright. It's a golden hourglass as well. Not too shabby. We'll take it. Fill in our pockets every step of the way, eh, Ada? Fill your boots. You don't want to leave this place empty handed after all. That would be criminal. Um, right, now I think... Oh. There's more treasure here somewhere. There it is. Almost forgot about that. That truly would have been criminal. Cool. I think that's everywhere looted. For now. This video is going to be damn near an hour long. But... I'm going to have to upload it all as one video because I've got a schedule to keep <laughs> and I have opened up enough in my schedule for exactly seven videos and this game is seven chapters so go figure okay um, right Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give there we go. Oh, it's a yellow as well. Very nice. Now, luckily, we are very close to the end of the chapter now. April 9. Oh, April. Nine years since my awakening. I have received a written petition from Mendaz. He wants me to forgive the servant who foolishly ran away. He does not understand. It's not a matter of forgiveness or unforgiveness. Only my noble pursuit matters, for which countless sacrifices are required, and honour for all those who dwell in the lands of our master. Besides, it would be impossible to remove it from his body now. She implants her prey with a part of herself, manipulating their consciousness and trapping them into a waking nightmare. They are, they are bent to her will, no matter how far they try to flee. The only way to truly escape the torment is to kill her. So, the entity within her prey dies too. It is, after all, made up of specialised cells which cannot survive on their own. Yet none are strong enough to put my hound, my pesanta, I'm guessing I said that wrong, down. So yeah, if we kill whatever is stalking us, I'm assuming we'll be free. The collection master is tacky and is a tacky and lousy boss. He leaves all the dissections to, for me to do. Even if he does bother to come here, all he does is go up at his three favourite specimens in a particular order before leaving. There's nothing special about them in any way. Why does he look at those three specimens when we have that prized butterfly to admire? 
A good researcher would know such things. Yep, so we can use the iris doodad, um, but I know what it is. It's beetle, skull, and then over here we have like an alligator. At least I believe that's what it is. So, beetle, skull, alligator. <gasps> Doesn't it just... There she is. I don't understand. It should be working by now. Take the ember and go. Once the parasite is sedated, you can give me back that damn stone. I can't leave you here. Not like this. Spare me. I'll be fine. You got another promise to keep. I've got a feeling she's going to be just fine. Anyway, that is the end of chapter four. Four down, three to go. That took a hell of a long time. Where can we have a look? Shift as typewriter. Nope, we don't want a typewriter. We want caps. Ooh, we've got Hound of Death. Defeat 50 enemies with a handgun. And uh, defeat five enemies with flash grenades in several ways. Okay, cool, cool. Anyway, guys, this video is very nearly an hour long. <laughs> so much for sticking to half an hour, eh? Anyway, thanks for watching. And as always, till next time.